Hi everyone, uh, in this video I will show you how to do the preload simulation for uh, an, an uh, open circuit. Fine, I think we already completed the pre and post load simulation for uh, differential amplifier as well as common source and common drain amplifier. Right, so uh, basically the uh, op amp is uh, the cascading of uh, cascade connection of uh, a differential amplifier uh, followed by an uh, a common source amplifier. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that. So we already created the library for both and a symbol for both. We'll just use those symbols and we'll reconnect and we'll perform the preload simulation. So for that, first I have to go to open right so this is my uh, library test one library right i've already created so insert this see i have already created differential amplifier as plus well common source amplifier right so now to perform to create a new file so first i'll go to new i'll create a cell wave here i'll give it as op amp op amp schematic I'll just give OK. So the test window, sorry, schematic window will appear. Here I have to use the symbols of common source as well as differential amplifier. So how to do that? I'll go to create, add instance. So here I have to browse. So in that, so this is my library. Test one is my library. So likewise you already created your library. So in the test one library, you have to first search for differential amplifier schematic. See, this is my schematic. I'll close it and I'll place. Right? This is for schematic, right? So differential amplifier likewise I have to use the common source amplifier. Again, add instance, shortcut is I, browse right here i have common source symbol right so i'll just close this and i'll place the common source symbol okay so now i have to add all the input output pins and i have to create the pins for this right so how to do that first i need to connect vdd right so i'll create a wire take wire and connect VDD pin right likewise I have to connect VSS 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 and V out of differential amplifier is connected to V in of common source okay now the IDC is connected with IDC IDD sorry IDC is connected to V bias fine and this is V1 and V2 are uh, inverting and non inverting amplifier sorry non inverting and non inverting terminals okay so we'll just give the inputs we'll create a pin for that so go to pin P first I'll create V inverting pin it's an input hide and place V in here inverting pin and again V non inverting pin I'll just place it here only for the better connection right now I need VDD so VDD I'll select this is an input so I'll just rotate it and place it here right now I need VSS so I'll place it here in last is this is the V out V out I need so I'll select V out its direction is output okay fine now I need to interconnect these two pins so I'll select wire so inverting is connected to V1 non-inverting is connected to V2 V out is connected to V out VDD is connected to VDD pin and VS is connected to VSS pin right it is as simple as that 
right so I have used differential amplifier and common source amplifier so both are cascaded by connecting the output of differential amplifier into input of common source amplifier and all the VSS is interconnected short circuited and VDD circuit and given to VDD right see V1 and V2 are because it's a common uh, amplifier circuit op amp operational amplifier so I'll use V inverting and V non-inverting terminals that is given to V1 and V2 right so now I'll save I'll check for the errors to warning found so probably this okay that's not an issue so okay IDC happen I have not given here so I'll take IDC also this is also an input pin so I'll take input and place it here okay so that has to be connected to IDC fine okay so now if I can save it so there is no warning found because I'm not given the IDC pin now I have given okay so this is the circuit of op amp by cascading differential amplifier and a common source amplifier now what I'll do I have to create a symbol for this for that go to create cell view from cell view let it be the test one same thing op amp schematic same click OK now it is asking for you know left pin and uh, uh, pin placements so I'll select IDC on top IDC and VDD on top V inverting let it be on left and non inverting on left VSS on bottom pin okay so inverting and uh, non inverting terminals on left V out on right so top pin IDC and VDD and bottom pin VSS so I'll just click OK so it has created successfully now you can create this symbol in in the type of you know op amp right by you know uh, rewriting this uh, terminals so it is quite easy just have to delete this by clicking here you can just click this and place a non new sorry a op amp structure it's quite simple so you can go to shape line so you can select here likewise you can select and you can also stretch this so it makes no problem fine once you have selected this just save and close because you have successfully created the symbol you can create like this or you can leave it as for as same as so previously whatever is there like rectangle structure you can leave the same only you can keep the same okay I'll just close this now I have to create the test circuit for this so quite simple to go to file create new op amp instead of schematic I'll give it as test right so I'll click OK now here I have to select the op amp symbol right so just go to insert create instance browse right here my symbol is here op amp symbol is here place save and place right see the inverting non inverting amplifier V out and everything has been placed now I have to give the components analog components has to be connected to here so first I'll select browse go go to analog lib here I need VDC right so first I need VDC right so let it be the VDC DC voltages let it be 1.8 volt okay so for both let it be the 1.8 volt okay so I'll just rotate here and place this here okay now again I need one more uh, VDC so let is this minus 1.8 volt this is for VSS connection so I'll place the VSS connection here okay now I need uh, inverting and non inverting amplifier non inverting I'll just give it to zero so inverting amplifier I'll give some voltage so input find 
v sin okay so i need v sin here the magnitude let it be 1 volt right amplitude let it be same thing 5 millivolt frequency let it be 1 kilo hertz okay the same thing we have given so nothing else so 1 volt dc should not give you should not give the dc voltage for input voltage so amplitude is same so if you give dc voltage it will clip the voltage fine so hide and place it fine now i need v out pin so i'll create a pin v out this is the output pin place it and place here now last is we left with idc right i need idc pin so i'll create instance go up find idc fine so i've got the idc so dc current so let it be some 5 micro amps fine 5 micro amp is more than enough fine just place it and place it here okay now so i'll just place it here fine now i need to connect all the interconnect all the pins before that i need ground pins so i'll create instance sorry instance uh, the pen is what the ground gnd right so i'll place it here i need one more pin here and one more is for input and one more is for non-inverting amplifier non-inverting terminal okay now i need to interconnect all these pins so i'll select wire so place it here then v out to v out and uh, this vdc to vdc connection and this is idc connection and this idc pin is interconnected to vdc so i'll give a connection here fine then v inverting amplifier inverting terminal input and non inverting is connected to ground okay so i think i have connected all the components so quite simple so what i used is So what I used is I have used a VDC as 1.8 to minus 1.8 for both in uh, VDD and VSS. Then IDC current is given as 5 microamps. Then input voltage same thing as we have given in the previous experiment and non-inverting terminal is grounded. Okay. Now I need to perform the simulation. So first I'll save this. So ADL. Here we have to go to analysis. Choose analysis. All the analysis will be chosen carefully so same thing let it be 5 millivolts sorry 5 milli minutes fine 5 milliseconds so it is moderate let it be enabled apply fine. this is a transient response then dc save dc operating point component parameter we have to select from input vdc voltage click ok right so start and stop sweep range you can give from minus 2.5 because uh, you can give from minus 5 to 5 volt fine so apply right so this is DC analysis and AC is same thing frequency from 100 Hertz to we shall take for 100 megahertz right so it is logarithmic points per decade let it be 20 dB per decade okay so I'll apply and OK now I have chosen all the uh, parameters then I'll go to simulation sorry output to be plotted I have to select the input outputs so I'll select the inverting because non inverting is 0 you need not to select it so inverting amplifier input and output ok so now I'll come back so I've selected both I'll just run ok now if you check now see this is the because it is inverting amplifier so obviously the output will be inverted right so you have 180 degree out of phase you will have the output signal right and if you check the gain so you are getting around uh, 9.67 so we have getting uh, enough gain for the signal okay so I think this is enough for you fine 
so this is the preload simulation of opamp right it is quite simple so usually in the exam so i'll just save this first i'll print to pdf so in the vlsi i'll just browse this in test one so this is opamp pre layout simulation output so i'll just save this okay so usually in the exam so they will give you both uh these two modules will be given by the you know uh, the college so if if it is if they ask you to uh, uh perform the pre layout simulation for opamp so usually the you will get the library files for these two right and then uh, you have to you know interconnect with this and you have to create a test circuit and you have to perform the simulation that's it okay okay thank you